I'm very excited. This is my first field. It's a it's a whole new ball game. The most is uh mustaches and bouffants. But uh, here we go. Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to Six Ashes. Well, I've been up since the crack of dawn this morning, and I can tell you, contrary to popular belief, Dawn is a very lovely woman. Anyway, I've been doing this field since the early hours, and uh, I've got paid handsomely for it, or I'm going to get paid handsomely for it. That's it, that's it, we're done. So I'm going to get this cedar back, and the good news we've got today, the temperature's up. I can start to do my own fields. Woohoo! They're all ready to go. They've all been uh, ploughed, limed, furted and cultivated. So, uh, we get this. I'm going to get this back home. So I'll catch you back there, people. There we go, lovely jubbly. We'll get that filled. And we'll get this field uh, sown. I think it's all ready to go, actually. I think we're up to, yeah, fertiliser and everything. We don't even need any fertiliser. Everything's ready. Brilliant. Brilliant. Now, we need some seed. And I've got my seed store. Just under here. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Yeah. It's a well needed space saving on a small farm. Now I'm going to get myself a bigger tractor actually. This is okay for, um, for my workers. I'm thinking for myself. I might get one of the bigger tractors. And uh, I just used this for one of the contracts before. Right, I'll get this filled. Well, I've been paid for the uh, for two jobs I've done in the last few days. So that's a that's a beautiful thing. Right, we've filled the cedar. get going with this puppy uh, I have got another cedar up there I might the work is coming in hopefully today about nine o'clock so uh, I might get him on the other sower with another tractor I want to plant wheat in this field may do barley in the next one then I think some sort of uh, crop that will give me some good money soybeans I've here are good or maybe even canola right I'm very excited this is my first field it's a, it's a whole new ball game. The most is uh, mustaches and bouffants. But uh, here we go. It's, uh, have I got this set up right? I think so. I think so. And away we go, people. I am uh, I'm so in my first field. I'm very excited. I'm very excited about this situation. Once I've done this, you know, it's down to Mother Nature herself. Right, 
Well, goodness gracious me. What a beautiful, beautiful day. There's a lot of birds about. Uh, they must be after my seed. <laughs> yeah, don't we wish that was true. Anyway, I'm going to get myself some scarecrows, I think, and hopefully they'll scare them. Unless they're not crows, and then they might not be. They might not be bothered at all. But we'll see. Right. I'm going to uh, crack on with this field. It's now, what, 20 past 8 in the morning. And we'll see how this goes. Catch you in a bit, folks. coming to the end of this field now thankfully while I was doing it the pig farmer was going past on the road pulled over and had a little word with me so uh, I'm changing a couple of things with uh, I'm bowing to his knowledge he says if uh, if I do potatoes Get a washer and a sorter. He will. Uh, the ones that aren't good enough for sell, he'll use for pig food. It'll save him a fortune on transport costs because he's only around the corner. So I might get a better price. Oh, yes. And, uh, well, he's also give me a tip. Instead of putting barley in the next field, because I want two fields near the combines really I was going to put put them there just for ease he said uh, plant oats and uh, just up there the horse stables will take them off me and I might get a better price because it'll save them on transport costs keeping everything local so uh, that's my plan that's my plan I'm going to put oats in the next field Uh, get the worker down in the bottom field. He's got everything ready here. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Woohoo! It's mid morning. I'm hoping to get these field, two fields in. Right, I'm going to crack on because I've got a busy day ahead of me. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you next time. So stay safe. And. Um, Enjoy whatever you're doing. Until next time, from Six Ashes, bye-bye.